is AP with a full line of feed storage and delivery systems, feeders, ventilations, and environmental controls. AP and its dealers are on your team, finding solutions that fit any swine production operation. Welcome back into our spotlight, Mark Oberreiter. Mark is a senior technician of technical support with information about AP's Commander Fans. The Commander Fan is the latest line of fans offered by AP. And why should someone choose the Commander Fan? First of all, they have a very high output in both low and high static pressure situations. The 54-inch fan with the PVC shutter has a rated capacity of 33,900 CFM at a, at a 0.05 static pressure, and it still delivers 27,100 CFM at a 0.3 static pressure. The 36-inch fan with PVC shutter is rated for 16,650 CFM at a 0.05, and it still delivers 13,770 at a 0.3 static pressure. Another great advantage is that the fan can vary an output using a ventilation control. The 54-inch fan with the PVC shutter has a range of output from 18,800 all the way up to its maximum of 33,900, and the 36-inch fan can vary its output from around 7,000 up to 16,650. Another great advantage is its high efficiency. With all the commander fans, their efficiency increases as they slow down. The 54 inch fan has an efficiency all the way up to 39 CFM per watt, and the 36 inch fan up to 37 CFM per watt. The last advantage is the very low maintenance it offers. Since it's a direct drive fan, there are no belts to tighten. There are no pulleys to maintain or bearings to grease. The features for this fan, first of all, it's the motor. The motor is a, it's a high performance permanent magnet electric motor. It runs tool to the touch and it supplies a constant torque to the prop. The drive, which is located near the fan on the wall, is, is a robust. Uh, control with an IP66 rating. And the main power and the control signal from your main ventilation control come into this drive and it operates the fan at the correct speed. It can be programmed several ways. You can use an OptiStick that you plug into the drive to download that program right to the drive. You can also use a smartphone with an app and make changes to the settings and then download that program to the drive through that OptiStick. But you can also program the drive with its built-in user interface. The prop for the fans is a 54-inch fan. It's a, it's a reinforced prop uh, made of all non-corrosive materials. And the 36-inch fan has an aluminum hub with composite blades made of also all non-corrosive materials. There's many options with the Commander fans. First of all, there's a 54 and 36 inch model. The, the power coming to the drive for the fan can either be a single or a three phase power. The, the signal coming from your control can either be a zero to 10 or 10 to zero. Uh, it uses that as an input to the drive for different situations. The shutter for the fan can either be made of PVC or it can be a roll seal type shutter. And the discharge cone can either be a fiberglass or a poly material. If you'd like more information about our Commander fans, you can contact me, Mark Oberlander, at 712-239-1011, or you can call an AP representative in your area. Thank you. Mark, that was some great information. We really appreciate that. We've got some questions coming in, but if you have more questions, producers, we'd sure like to have you drop those in the QA box at the bottom of the Zoom window. Again, the QA box at the bottom of the Zoom window. We'll make sure that we get to all those questions. So Mark, our first question, first of all, welcome. We appreciate having you and AP with us twice in this segment. That is awesome. 
Um, our first question is about building specs. And the question says, are there building specs that need to be in place before installing? Building specs be in place before installing. I'm not sure exactly what you're referring to. Um, but as far as the building specs before installing, I like to ask more what the question was about, but uh, um, as far as electrical or construction wise, the, the, the building materials, I'm not exactly yeah, sure well, the question, but. I, I would imagine, and we'll see if he jumps back in here and clarifies that question a little bit more, but I wonder if he is um, talking about, oh, fan weight and electrical. Okay. Well, electrical wise, um, to, I guess to summarize again, we have a power going to the drive that is located out and then, and then it's just uh, wires from that drive to the fan. And then also you have um, communication wires from your ventilation control to that drive. Um, yeah, that's electrical part of it, what it amounts to, so. Okay. Great. Let's, uh, let's shift gears just a little bit and talk about those discharge cones. The question that we had is, um, what are some of the applications where you would use PVC or the poly discharge cones? Help us understand those a little bit sure. more. Sure. Yeah, there's two options we have for that discharge cone. The discharge cone is put on there to increase the efficiency of the fan. And the, the standard is the fiberglass option, which is a much uh, a stronger option. So definitely in places um, where you would have maybe snow coming off of a roof, potentially coming in contact with that cone that we, uh, we strongly recommend uh, using that fiberglass. But uh, other options where, where you wouldn't have that snow or impact, um, you could use uh, the a little less cost of uh, the poly option and still get the, the uh, performance that you're looking for. And I would assume that as you're working with these producers to, to understand what their needs are for their specific barns, whether it's a retrofit or a new barn, you're gonna take those things into consideration and help them make the right choices? Sure, sure, yeah. Another big part of what I do is, is helping um, customers decide on the design and what equipment is needed for a particular barn, whether it be uh, ventilation and also feed systems, but kind of ventilation, yeah, determining how much airflow that is needed for a barn, um, and then how these commander fans might fit into that design, along with controls and inlets and, and all the other equipment. But you can sure contact us and we can help you with uh, any design that, that you might need. Mark, we've got another question uh, from a producer that says, are there discharge dust collection equipment uh, as part of the fan? Um, no, there's no um, dust collection equipment as part of the fan. Um, but you do see some of that, um, but it's, it's nothing that, yeah, it's part of the fan. I mean, you can make sure you, whatever you want to do with, um, um, collecting that dust, make sure it's away from the fan, um, a good, what they say is a couple diameters, um, away to collect that dust. So it doesn't impede on the performance of that fan. And actually, we've got a question too about um, what are some of the examples where the commander fan has been used successfully in swine barns? Yeah, so some examples. Uh, um, well, first of all, the commander fan can be used in, in most any application where you need some fans to deliver air. A um, couple um, examples that I can talk about um, where they really, really shine is um, the first example is if you have like a filtered site, like particularly your sow units where you plan to filter the air as it's coming in. Um, and doing that, it's very restrictive. Um, so you need a fan that's going to be able to, um, to have, a, you know, produce and, and move that air under high static pressure. And this commander fan can, you know, really do that really good job at those higher pressures. So another example that comes to mind is if you have maybe a typical finisher barn where you have some small fans and then intermediate fans and then larger fans, well, the uh, commander fan can kind of fit in there in, in place of an intermediate fan because you can slow it down. Like our 54 inch fan, you can slow him down um, to meet the needs like a, a typical mid range fan and then ramp it up and be used uh, as, as a big fan. And it gives you um, more option there and, and a nice, gradual increase in that airflow in that mid range. So 
And, and for, with any of these options, it, it just you know increases that efficiency um, to lose, use uh, less electricity. Mark, it sounds like you've got some good solutions and some good options for our producers out there. How can they get in touch with you? Sure, the best way to learn more about the Commander Fan or any of our products is through automatedproduction.com, or you can also call our uh, tech center in Sioux City, Iowa, uh, which are where I'm located and the tech manager. The phone number there is 712-239-1011. And I can give you that number again, if you'd like, it's 712-239-1011. Great, Mark, we really appreciate you being with us today. This has been Mark Oberreiter and he's uh, had some great information for us about the Commander fans. Uh, and always we appreciate AP's support of our producers, Iowa Pork Congress, AP's support of the Iowa Pork Alliance, uh, just everything that you do. You guys have been in all four of our segments to, over the last two days, and thanks a lot to AP. All right, thank you.